Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Welcome to the Apple Ninja. Super happy you're joining me. Uh, we're going to go over restoring your Mac back to a factory setup. In the event you want to sell it, trade it in, give it away, or you just want to rebuild your Mac, the way I'm going to show you is the fastest way you can do it. It is it's what, how we do it in the enterprise, right? So I'm excited to share this with you. It is bar none the coolest way to so if you're not subscribed get subscribed click the alert button and uh, if you like the video make sure you give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment right that generates some buzz gets us chat and I like chatting with the people on the comments it's kind of fun and uh, leave me some tips leave me some uh, of your own tips or whatever right or just say hey what's up but uh Let's get to it. All right, so before you give or sell your Mac away, there's some critical things that you wanna make sure that you take care of. Uh, the first thing is make a backup. If you don't have a backup, it's super easy. Time Machine will back up your Mac extremely easy. Plug in an external drive. It's gonna ask if you wanna use it as a Time Machine backup. You say yes, you let it back up to that drive, then you run this process that I'm about to show you, and you plug that drive back in at the end, and it's gonna say, would you like to restore it from your time machine backup? Yes, I would, click okay, boom, you're done. So make sure you got a backup. The next step that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you take care of is signing out of iTunes. According to Apple's page, it's only required on Mojave and lower, but I'm on Catalina right now. So uh, the music app is on Catalina. So you could go up to account authorizations, deauthorize this computer. If I click that, it's gonna ask me to enter in a password for the Apple ID. Um, that I want to deauthorize the computer for, so I can just type that in and deauthorize that Mac. The next step you're going to want to take is you're going to want to sign out of iCloud. So let's open up the system preferences. We're going to click on this Apple ID up in the right hand corner. We're going to select iCloud from the list. We're going to uncheck everything that's in this list and make sure that we decide on whether we want to keep it or remove it. The primary one that we want to worry about though is this Find My Mac down here. So we're going to click the Find My Mac. We're going to sign in to remove it. All right, so now Find My Mac is removed. I'm gonna click on Overview, and I'm just gonna click Sign Out here. Boom, I'm signed out of iCloud. So I'm no longer tied into that. Signed out of iCloud, I need to sign out of the Messages or iMessage app. So I'm gonna go over to the Messages app. I'm going to open up the Preferences, Command Comma, and I'm gonna click Sign Out. It's gonna say, do you wanna sign out? Yes, I do. I can quit out of iMessage, and then this is kind of an optional step, but it's one that you're probably gonna to wanna to take. So let's open up system preferences and we're gonna to wanna to go to our Bluetooth. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that we unpair any Bluetooth devices. So let's say I sell this Mac to my neighbor. He's close enough within Bluetooth of my peripherals so I will want to make sure that I just unpair those devices um, if I have any devices so let me just see 
I have to. All right, so there we go. I've got the Apple Ninja AirPods. I need to X out. Okay. So let me hit the X. I'm gonna hit the X. Connection rejected. All right, so now it's not connected. Now let's get into the fun, all right? So what we're gonna do is we need to, so now that we've depersonalized this computer, we've made a backup, we've signed out and deauthorized iTunes, we've signed out of our iCloud account, we've signed out of iMessage to make sure that none of that is tied to it. We've, we unchecked, before we signed out of iCloud, we unchecked the Find My Mac. Um, so now we're in a state where we can erase this thing and give it to somebody. So we need the application, right? There's a couple ways that you can download the .app install of Mac OS. So you wanna get the latest and greatest. There's a, you can use a command in the terminal, which you can watch this video up above. There's a link uh, where I kind of go in depth, or you can just use the Mac App Store. So we're just gonna use the App Store for this demo. If you wanna learn the geeky way, definitely check out that video. And that'll show you how to download it from the command line. So I'm just gonna type in Catalina. Catalina OS, click view, click get gonna say oh you have it <clears throat> already do you want to download it again if you don't get this download message right away go back and click it because I did receive a message at one point that said your updates are good I had to go and click get again for the download message to come up so you might have to do that a couple times you just click download and then it's going to show up. I already downloaded it to speed up the demo, but uh, click download and then it will show up in your applications folder. I zipped it so that the installer wouldn't try to launch it right away. Um, so I'm just gonna double click this and expand it. All right, so now I've got the installer so that I can reinstall the OS. Now, next thing we wanna do is open up a terminal, command spacebar to initiate spotlight. I'm gonna do a command plus to blow this window up so you guys can see it. All right, so we're gonna to wanna to type in the command to initiate the install. So I'm going to drag in the app and go back to the beginning type in sudo looking for some good key command tricks for the command line I got a, a good video on that or teach you 20 tricks um, all right so we've got the Catalina app and we need to go into contents resources start OS install and that is the command that we need to run to start this OS install we want it to erase the Mac and we also want to do it with no interaction I don't want to touch this thing after I hit go um, and, and enter the password so once I do this and I kick this off, this Mac is going to start the installation process right after it uh, verifies the installer itself. And then it's going to reboot into the installer and we'll check that out now. All right, so you're gonna see it's preparing to run the Mac OS installer and it's now restarting. So I'm gonna kind of fast forward this process so you don't have to feel the pain of an install. All right, now it has come up to the welcome screen after the install and the wipe. You're just gonna walk through a normal process of setting up a, a 
an account for this person so that they can try out your Mac or maybe you're setting up your Mac itself um, and that's it. You've, you've now built your Mac out and wiped it back to a factory state. So hopefully you like that video. Give me a thumbs up. Um, you guys have an awesome week. Take care. If you know of some nifty tricks around this whole process, let me know definitely in the comments. You guys have an awesome week. See you next Saturday.